A possible breakthrough in the treatment of depression. Yes, a blood test may be able to tell who is depressed, when they're getting better, and even what sort of treatment might be best. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here with the details for us. Dr. Max? Christina Maurice, 14 million people a year suffer from severe depression, but at least half of them aren't even diagnosed. That's because depressed people can't always communicate their feelings. And as we saw with Robin Williams, severe depression can lead to tragic consequences. But a blood test could change much of that. As a new college student taking tough courses, Josh Bodner says there was a time he rarely left his dorm room. During the day, he did homework, and at night, he would deal with depression. I came to sort of this realization. I'm like, I'm not happy. I need to do something about it. Bodner was diagnosed with depression by a doctor, but like most Americans, he was not seen by a psychiatrist. More than 80% of medications written for psychiatric illnesses are written by non-psychiatrist by the general practitioner, the family practitioner, the internist. Which can mean missed diagnoses and patients being treated in ways that may not help them. But now researchers at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine have found genetic markers in the blood that can accurately diagnose depression in patients. This would bring psychiatry into the 21st century. Their study published today in the journal Translational Psychiatry analyzed the blood of 32 depressed patients and 32 normal controls. Not only did it predict who was depressed, the blood samples also showed when the therapy was effective and when it wasn't. So this is the first time that there is a biological measure that can objectively show the effectiveness of a psychotherapy. Depression is usually treated with medication, talk therapy, or a combination of the two approaches. What may be the most exciting part of the blood test is that it seems to predict which patient will benefit from which type of therapy, which could mean... We can get people treated sooner with the effective treatment for that individual quicker and get them better quicker. But before you can ask your doctor for this blood test, it will still have to be confirmed in much larger studies before it can be FDA approved. There is an approved depression blood test called MDD score that's used for diagnosis, but this new test seems to predict much more about how a patient is doing. Christine Maurice. Thank you, Dr. Max.